everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today is another one of my Christmas vlogs where I take some items that are left over and try to create some last minute Christmas crafts. So let's get to crafting. All right everyone, so I've got a table here full of some items that I pulled out. And I have this sign from the Dollar Tree. This had like a little piece here for the brim of the uh, snowman's hat, but I took it off. I don't recall what I was going to use this uh, board for, but I still have it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and use this. I purchased two of this uh, particular bell, also from the Dollar Tree. And uh, I'm going to use one of them. I also have some leftover. Uh, well, these are still pretty intact. The bushes of poinsettia and this uh, pine. But then I also have these little scraps that I had left over from similar uh, bushes. So I'm going to use the scraps first. And I also have some a ribbon left over. This is from a store called At Home. I've got plenty of this one and I've just got a little bit of this one. So I'm going to use whatever I have left over. I've also got some jingle bells in here that I'm going to be using. I've got some string, jute, whatever you want to call this. Um, you could use a little thin ribbon in case you don't have that. I've got this uh, roll of burlap, this red burlap. It's like a ribbon. You could use any piece of fabric. You don't even have to use this at all. I do have some paints that I'm going to use. I have some white. Uh, I don't know if I'll use the black, but I pulled it out just in case. I also have this uh, little snow here. I have some in this little bowl uh, already loose in here. So I'm gonna use some of that somehow. The first thing that I want to do is I want to paint the board. I want to paint it white with this acrylic paint. So I'm going to do that. I also want to do the same thing with the bell, but I've already got the second, the other uh, bell that I said that I had. And I've removed this part here, the little bow. It's just twisted on there. And then this part also comes off really easily. And then I took some craft scissors. Let me grab some right now. I took some heavy duty craft scissors and then I followed the seam. And then I just started kind of breaking into it very carefully so that I could cut into it. And then opposite from that so that I could get these two bits. I have to be careful not to crack the whole thing. Originally I was only going to use one of them, but because the board is nice and long, I decided to use both. Now, I do have a little bit of a piece here that cracked off and then on this one as well, but and a little bit on the top here. But I'm not going to worry about because I'm actually going to cover a lot of that. So anyway, that's what I did with this particular bell. Is I cut it in half and I'm going to use them on here as well. I'm going to go ahead and paint all these items in white first, let them dry, and I'll be back to do a little bit more to them. All right, so I just poured a little bit of paint on there. Okay, so now I'm just taking the black paint and doing the edges. Now I don't mind getting some of it on the uh, upper edge of the board. That's okay. Okay, so now I want to also do a little bit of touch-ups on the bells here, so I'm going to do the little edges as well, just like that. I'm also going to take some of the black and just do like little splotches here and there, like that. Hopefully your bell doesn't have these little designs mine does, and it looks a little bit nicer than mine. Uh, perfectly a smoother texture would be best for this. Now if you feel like you did a little too much, just get your brush where you were painting with a white paint. You want to clean most of that paint off and then just kind of lightly go over it. And that'll uh, make the black not look so dark and that's my kitty cat so I better go tend to him because he's most important. Okay, so that's what it'll look like. I'm gonna let these dry and I'll be back. All right, so now I wanna cover this. And like I said, you don't have to do this. Uh, actually, if you 
If you don't, you might want to give it a better coating. If you happen to use one of these boards that have a sign and you want to make sure it's all covered well. I just gave it a couple of coats. I uh, wasn't worried too much about the design underneath because I am still going to be using this burlap ribbon. So I'm going to cut this to size. I'm, I think I'll start gluing it first and then I'll cut it just to make sure that I didn't do a bad job. So I'm just going to cut this bottom end here a little bit a little straighter. Well, goodness, there we go. All right, so now I want to put some glue here at the bottom. And get this down on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue on each side and then start rolling it downward and work my way all the way up until I get to the other end. Okay, so I'm almost finished here. Now, obviously, if you're going to be using some fabric, you're going to want to cut it to size first and then uh, start gluing it down. You could also use uh, like a scrap piece of pa of, uh, or pieces of scrap paper, like scrapbook paper. You can use um, like a wrapping paper or tissue or just something pretty that you might find that is not necessarily fabric, but you know, any kind of a paper if you want to use that or just paint it. Okay, so I'm at the other end, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this little red ribbon that it came with. I'm leaving it there for now. I might replace that, but that's it. That's all I wanted to do. We just cover this up and that's what it looks like. The edges are nice and black, but then underneath the burlap, you can see the white coming through so it doesn't look so dark and it looks really pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna take my two half bells here and I wanna put them on my side. I wanna leave a little space up here because I am gonna put uh, some some of the uh, pine greenery and the uh, poinsettia flower, maybe a little bow. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it to about where I think it might go. And then I want to do the same thing to this other one. And I want to leave some space here as well between the next one. So I'm going to put it about, let's see, about so, so low. So just decide where yours would fit best. And of course you want to kind of center it as well. Okay, so now that I know where I want it, I can go ahead and glue them down. And I'm going to put a little dot of glue there and a little dot of glue there just to let me know that that's where the two, uh, these little tips are going to go. Right there, right there, and then the top of this part here. So now I can go ahead and put glue on the edges here. Okay, so here's my little dot of glue that I put before on the other one over here. And then the one over here, yeah. Okay, so I placed it just right. So now the other one. And I'm gonna do the same thing. A little dot of glue to mark it. Okay, so there's a dot, there's the dot. And this dot over here, okay. There we are. All right, so now we want to decorate these. All right, so I pulled out a couple of extra things that I had in my stash of supplies. So I had these little ornament balls. These are from the Dollar Tree. There's a packet of 16. And then I have these little mini uh, pine cones. I think I got these from Hobby Lobby a couple of Christmases ago. But I pulled those out because I think they'll be great to decorate on here. Now I've got my jingle bells in here. And I think I want to use these silver ones. So I'll pull those out. I really like my rustic bells that I normally use for everything, but I'm not going to use those right now. I'm going to go ahead and use these. Okay, and I could use, you know, one or two or three for each bell, but I think I'm only going to do one because I want to take the string and fold it in half, like so, where I want them to hang from. But I'm going to hang a little Christmas ornament from the other end. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run this through here. Let's get it through there. Come on, honey. There we go. Make a little knot. I love the way it sounds. That's mainly what <laughs> made me decide what bell to use. Okay, so now I'm going to decide how long I want it to hang. And remember, there's going to be a flower here, so we don't want this hanging too low. And I don't want it too high up here either, because then I'm going to might hide it. So um, right about here. So I'll fold it in half. I'll give it a little bit extra length. And then I'll get the ornament and put it over it on the other end. About the same length, so they can kind of bang against each other and help that little bell sound even louder. But this is also a good way to maybe even save some of those bells so you don't use all your stash and you can save them uh, for other crafts. Okay, so now this guy, we're gonna go ahead and just slide it in there and then we're gonna glue it down. I probably should have glued it down before I actually put the, <laughs> the belt so that uh, I don't burn my hand, but I'm just gonna reach in there and I'm actually gonna put some other stuff in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, let me get some more glue. I'm just gonna reach in there and pour some glue as far in as I can and then just press a little rope um, to there. Okay. Just like that. I don't know if you can even see that in there, but I'll do the same thing with the other one and then I'll be back once that is nice and dry. All right, so while that is drying, I went ahead and I cut a piece of string, nice long piece of string, folded it in half, and then cut a third. That would be about the length of the first string folded in half. And then I'm gonna take it where it's folded up here and the single end strand of that extra string and then just kind of knot them. And then I'm going to braid these. So I'm just going to carefully twist over and over. Just do a kind of a rustic looking braid. I'm not going to worry about it being too nice and neat. And ever so often, get the ends and untangle them. And that's what I'm going to be building. I'm going to use this piece instead of that little red ribbon. So I'm going to use this as my hanger for my sign. So I'll just finish it up. Once I get to the end, I'll just knot it again to keep all the uh, uh, twisting of the braid in place. And that'll be used to hang. Okay, so now I'm ready to decorate. And I want some greenery coming out of here. So I thought I'd use this one. But I don't think I have enough to make it nice and full. So I actually pulled out... Um, some garland that I had. It's not even the whole piece of garland. It's some maybe six feet left over here from another project. So I'm just going to cut off a couple of pieces from that and see how much I need. I don't need too much. Just enough to fill in right here. All right, let's put that over to the side. And I did pull these off of one of the uh, this little bush here and then I cut off two poinsettias and then I have some little mini uh, pine cones that I showed you earlier. So I think with this, I just need a little piece like that. It's got maybe four little bits in it. I think that'll be good. That'll be nice and filling. So let's put some glue right here and insert it right in there. There we go, and I'm going to push it in as far as I can so that I can see the bells. And then I've got another piece here. This one's got some extra bits that the other one didn't, so I'm going to take off. Okay, and now I can put glue on this one. Slide it in there. Make sure it's touching something to glue down onto. Okay. Once it's uh, dry in there, then we can uh, poof it or move it around or whatever we need to do. But for now, we just want to fill in like that. Okay. And then I've got extra here. So I'm going to take this one that I pulled off and glue it on here on the sides. Let me bend it a little bit more. That'll be good.
There we go. And I'll pull another one out and do it at the top. Okay, just like that. Okay, so I still have a little little bits here and I'll just save them because I may use them, maybe I won't, we'll see. And I wanna add a flower right here and then another one over here. So I think I'm gonna take off the leaves and then I'm also gonna cut the stem a little bit shorter. There we go, get that off. And I just put plenty of glue down here just so that it doesn't come apart. Like between that green thing and the, and the petals, put some glue in there. Okay, put that on there. That looks pretty. That right here. Gorgeous. Look at that so far. Looks so pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of the uh, ribbon before I do anything else. And I'm just going to take a couple of pieces, let's see, maybe about six or eight inches, about eight inches. I'll do two of each one, because I don't have very much of this one, so I got to see how far does it take me. I got to cut it from this other end, because that's getting all bent, out of shape. <laughs> okay, look, I just had enough just to cut that, because this little piece is all kind of messed up. All right, so, and then another one from this one here. And you don't have to do that, I'm just doing it. From the fold to the edge, snip. Same on the other side. And I'll do this one off camera, but anyway. I'm just gonna grab these, pinch them together, and then use your little rope. Or if you have a chenille stem, whatever you have. Just tie that so that it doesn't come apart. You can trim off the strings if you want or leave them on there. Spread this out if you want, like that. I'm going to glue this coming from behind the flower, so maybe you want to put this first before you put the flower down. Okay, let's get that in there. Oops, got some glue in my finger. Okay, so let's get it on there. And then I can kind of bend the ribbon, make it look pretty. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty. Okay, so I'll repeat that to the other one just like I did to this one. Okay, so I've taken a couple more of these pieces and I've already put them on this one. And so I'm just going to add a little bit more of this pine just to give it a little more fullness. On each side. So now that I've put that one, these are glued. On there we go. I'm just making sure this is not hanging and it's not getting hidden by this. Okay, so now I'm going to take these beautiful pieces with the glitter. Not that the other ones aren't beautiful, but I'm going to put these in here. So whatever I do to one, I'm going to do to the other. Just get those in there too so they look really pretty. A little shorty here. As you can see, this little uh, this covers up the little breaks that were on the side of my bells. Now, if if you have like you know quite a bit of them, you can take some of the same little string of a uh, rope, and then just do like a little gluing of that on the edge, or like a little trim around it. Or if you have a thicker rope, use that. Or um, you could use some ribbon as well, or some little trim, you know, to hide any little cracks that may have occurred. Okay, looks like I'm going to have a little piece left over. That's okay. All right, so now put that in there. Beautiful. Now I'm going to add a bunch of these little pine cones in all kinds of different spots. So now I'm going to pull off the string or the ribbon that I had on here. I'm going to pull that off. 
turn this around gently. I should have done this before, my goodness. Okay, now we're just gonna glue these down. And I have one last thing to do. I glue it down here. Okay, we're gonna let that dry, we'll be right back. All right, so this could already be complete as it is, but I had another item that I had pulled out, this little snow that I have in here. So I'm gonna use some of that. And I'm going to put some, some glue running down like that on my bell. And then throw the snow on top. Don't shake it off yet. Get some on the edges here. As much as you want. Okay, and then we'll do it to the other one. All right, so then we can just shake it all off the excess here. And that's what the snow looks like, if you can see it. Okay, and there we go, the end product. I'm just gonna say it's a Jingle Bell flag. And look at that. I can put it on the door so every time that it swings open, I can hear it or just hang it somewhere on a wall, if you prefer. Of course, you want to pull off all these little webs, and someone uh, suggested to use a blow dryer. Uh, I don't have a blow dryer. I don't use a blow dryer. Um, I haven't used one in years. So, but I did order, or I'm going to order myself a heat gun because I found I'm using on another item. So you can use the heat gun also, blow up some hot air, and get those webs off, blow them off, and there we go. But that's it, everyone. I think it came out really cute. Look at that. Of course, I'll have a camera at the outro so that you can see it close up. And there we go. Didn't cost much to make this. All right, everyone, I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. And I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs and leave a nice comment down below. Let me know what you thought of my project today. This is my Christmas vlog, and I'm using up uh, leftover pieces of uh, supplies that I still have for Christmas and some items that I purchased that I never ever used. So I'm trying to use as much as I can for a few more little craft videos for you. Uh, you just last minute ideas. So there we go. And uh, hit that red subscription button, then the little notification bell that notifies you if when I upload my videos, which is a twice a week. I'm trying to do three, these, like maybe one more week of three. We'll see how much more I can do. But anyway, there we go, everyone. Share your social medias. Follow my Facebook, Atricia's Creations, and you can upload your uh, pictures there of your crafts. And we can share that with everyone or even your recipes. All right, everyone, be kind. Be loving, be very respectful towards each other, and happy holidays, and Merry Christmas, and enjoy.